Time now to go inside out as we're joined by a very busy man, our SNY NBA insider Ian Begley. And Ian, as we discussed throughout the year, the Knicks needed a perimeter scoring threat. Why did they decide Evan Fournier was the guy they wanted to pursue? Well, the league kind of knew that Boston was not going to bring Fournier back, so the Knicks felt that they had a chance there. And in Fournier, they get a shooter. They get also someone who can create their own shot at times, and that's really what they've been looking for, a shot creator. Uh, Fournier, obviously not the best in the league at that, but he does get that done a little bit, so that should help them space the floor, should help Julius Randle a bit. And they still have needs at different positions, but Fournier was a top target for them coming into this thing, and they did get it done on night one. All right, so the Knicks lose Reggie Bullock to Dallas, but are bringing Derrick Rose back and have spent close to their league-high $53 million in cap space. Ian, how much more do you expect Tom Thibodeau to lean on Rose now with uh, not a ton of depth at the point? Pretty heavily, but I, I have a feeling the Knicks aren't done there. There are other moves that they can make. They could have some cap space left over. They'll have exceptions. They could do sign and trade. So I don't think the Knicks are all the way done at the point guard position. Um, but if Rose is the guy, and if it is he and Emmanuel quickly in that rotation, you're going to see Rose playing a lot of minutes for this team next year. All right, let me follow up on that. What are some of the possibilities that might still be out there for the Knicks at the point? Well, Spencer Dinwiddie unsigned. Uh, to date and Dennis Schroeder unsigned to date and then both of those players are looking for big money but the market has kind of dried up for them and then also you're looking at maybe you know a Jalen Brunson in Dallas he's a young player still has another year on his deal so you'd have to acquire him via trade but I know that's somebody that the Knicks have kept their eye on so I just would assume that something else is coming here and that they're not done just based on what we've seen uh, night one. All right, so you're still waiting for another move, but let's take a look at the draft, and they won a free agency. How much have the Knicks improved their roster? I think they're pretty much the same. I don't know. You can't point to a, a major improvement here. I mean, yeah, Evan Fournier, a better offensive player than Reggie Bullock, but Reggie Bullock was also a key to the Knicks' defense. The rookies, we don't know about yet, so I think it's, it's pretty much the same here. Status quo, uh, not a surprise that they would look to mostly run it back coming off of a 41-win season. But a lot of people around the league expect them to do something at the point guard position. That's why I don't think they're done, at least trying to get something done here in free agency. And the Nets also making news, reportedly agreeing to a one-year deal to keep Blake Griffin in Brooklyn. Ian Begley, thanks for joining us here on Geico Sports Night.